Hello everyone. In this video, we will be solving problem 80. Remove duplicates from a sorted array level 2. The problem statement is, we are given an integer array nums which is sorted in a dawn decreasing order which means increasing or ascending. We need to remove the duplicates in place such that each unique element appears at most twice. The relative order of the element should be kept the same. Another part to that challenge is we should not allocate extra space for any other array. We need to solve this by modifying the input array in place with O of 1 extra memory. So in example number 1, we are given an array nums with having 3 1s, 2 2s and 1 3. And based on the problem statement, we need to modify the nums to this format having 2 1s, then 2 2s then 1 3 and whatever is there after this 3 stays the same and because there are 5 valid numbers that we identified we are returning 5 even though we had 3 ones in the original input but we are only allowed to have at max 2 duplicate numbers so we took only 2 in the output if we look at example number 2 with this input we have 4 ones these four ones are translated to only two ones in the output and then we shift all the remaining characters at this point our array would look something like this zero zero then two ones one two three so these are all seven characters and then whatever we have after seven in the original input stays the same so we would have another two threes over here from the last two indexes. I hope that you understood this problem. Let's switch to the whiteboard and talk about how this can be solved without using any extra space. If you were to solve this problem without considering the space complexity, it would be a very simple solution. All we need to do is build a new array and start moving all of these elements into it. And every time we find a certain count of duplicate values going beyond 2, we would just skip that and move forward. And then once we are at the end, just match the index from the input and copy the value as is. But because of the constant that is given to us in the problem statement, to solve it with constant space, we won't be able to apply this logic. So now let's think about how to improve this solution. So let's write down the constraints that are given to us. Duplicate values should be less than or equal to 2. No extra space should be used to build the output. One approach is to have two pointers. The first pointer will iterate through all of the elements in the input array without caring if the values are being duplicated or not. The second pointer will be pointing at the index which needs to be updated j is actually going to be the pointer which will be incremented in certain conditions only let's go through a couple of example and identify where how these two pointers will be useful so here i have four columns i and j pointer this previous value column will hold the value of the previous iteration that we completed with i pointer so before we can start the iteration I will set the previous value as 0 because that's the first value in my array and the count will be 1. The idea is that we already have a value 0 and my iteration will begin with i is equal to 1. And at that same time, my j is also going to be pointing at 1. So with i pointing at 1, the value is 0. Does it match to the previous value? Yes, if it matches, then my count will be incremented to 2 and my previous value will still be 0. I will increment my pointers. So at this point, I am incrementing i and j both. So my i will become 2, j will become 2, my count stays 2. I'll just record the current value over here as well for simplicity. My current value is 1. It does not match to the previous value. So in that point, I will update my previous value to 1, reset my count. So my count will be reset to 1. Because the count did not go beyond 2, I do not need to make any changes. I will continue the iteration. 
my i is incremented and so is j now with i is equal to 3 the current value is 1 it matches the previous value so my count will be incremented again it is not greater than 2 so i will continue the flow i is incremented to 4 j is incremented as well now with i is equal to 4 my current value is 1 it matches to the previous value so my count is now incremented to 3 so here's where we have to change our logic a little bit with count greater than 2 we should not be incrementing j we need to save the value of j so that we can overwrite that index with a certain value my previous value will still be 1 for the next iteration i is incremented but j stays the same the current value is 1 it matches the previous value so my count is going to be again incremented so now it is 4 because the count is greater than 2 we should not be updating j so now the next iteration i is 6 i is equal to 6 gives me the value 2 2 is not equal to 1 so my counter will be updated 2 is not equal to 1 so my count should be reset and because this is lower i need to take this value 2 and save it to j plus 1 so this j is going to be incremented and then 2 is going to be saved at this position at index 4 which is this i will be taking the current value and replacing it so this will become 2 and i will increment my j so my new value of j is 5 because count is less than 2 and my previous value will become 2 in that case incrementing i to 7 so my j will be incremented to 6 at 7 the value is 3 so i will have to take this 3 update it to the value 5 and i will continue the iteration so at index 7 the value is 3 does not match to the previous value so count will be 1 i will take this 3 and append it to 5 which i already did now and my previous value will now be 3 incrementing i it is now 8 j will also be incremented new value of j is 7 at i is equal to 8 the value is 3 this value will need, needs to be updated at index 6 so i will move it here 3 matching to the previous value yes so count needs to be incremented and previous value will become 3 talking about the output whatever j is pointing at is the number of elements that were updated hence our output is going to be 7 if we rewrite this output array it would look something like this so these are 7 characters which are valid after that we will have 3 and 3 but we did not touch that and because we did not use any extra space our space complexity is o of 1 and time complexity is o of n let me show you how this can be implemented using c sharp here is my c sharp solution i start by having some validation to make sure that nums is not null and the length is greater than zero then i have saved this current index which is j and the count variable then i start this for loop from i is equal to one all the way to the end if the value at i is not equal to value at current index or the previous iterated index then it means that we need to restart our count hence we i'm just taking the current value and updating it at the previous index <laughs> at this point the current index may be or may be not equal to i and then i'm resetting this count over here and then later on incrementing it to one if the count is less than two then I'm just moving or rotating the value at index i to index current index plus 1. And then after this if and else if conditions are done, I'm incrementing my count. After the iteration is done, this current index will be pointing at the index that was last updated. Because we have to return the number of values, I'm just adding 1 to it and returning it. Thank you for watching this video. This source code is available on my GitHub repository. The link is there in the description below. Feel free to check that out and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.